Hey guys, uh, had to do this on my 2012 R spec, so I figured I'd record it, offer it to Alan. Um, that way it can help some of you out if you have to do it. Uh, so, <clears throat> this is just a quick how-to on replacing your master cylinder. So this is actually an OE part. Um, Hyundai, I think, wants like two or 300 bucks for it, uh, Mando. Manufactured the part, if I'm not mistaken, it's the same part number for at least the post facelift um, 3.8, 4.6, 5 5.0, R spec, tech package, etc. There's your part number. Um, and basically, all you're going to need, I would use a hooked pick unless you want to be like me and drop your clip and have to fish it out with a <clears throat> magnet. But all you're gonna need is a 11 mil. Um, if the line's tight, or you're having trouble getting out, I'd recommend using a line wrench. But for me, it broke loose fairly easily, so I just use regular combination wrench. And I'm using a long ratcheting 13 to get the two nuts here and here out. You're gonna have to flush your brakes afterwards. Uh, I'm not gonna show you guys how to do that in this, but there are plenty of videos on how. So we gotta get that bolt and washer off that stud. And that bolt and washer off that stud. You're gonna have a connector here. This is the clip I was talking about. Um, goes over this and holds it in. Goes right here to your level sensor. And then this is going to pull back. You got to take your lines out first. Then it should pull back. And you should be able to fish it out. Um, and it goes back in the same way. Well, let me get that real quick. All right, so while I got it, I did just get it out. I'm going to show you guys how it fishes out. It's super easy. Probably the easiest one I've ever done um, here in the shop. Now, I forgot to mention this. This cover for your ECM and TCM left to come out. Um, it's just notched here, and then there's a 10 mil right here that holds it down, and it lifts right out. That gives you some more space. Uh, let me show you how this fishes in. I'll show you the hardware. Um, let me fish my clip out of here, though. Those guys, I lost the clip. I wasn't kidding. Uh, I already found it. I just gotta fish it out. So, if you drop it. Mine landed right there. Oh, come on. <sighs> Call them Jesus clips, because when you drop them, you're praying to Jesus that you find it. So, there's your clip. Nectar goes on. This slips over and retains it in. Show you guys how to fish it in here. Fish is in the same way it fished out. Just gonna cock it in there a little bit at an angle. Push your brake lines over towards the passenger side. Fish her in there. Make sure you get the shaft on the plunger and the booster. And just press it on. And your brake lines up. Hand thread them in as far as you can. Don't put a wrench on it till you got them all the way in by hand. There's your line. All the way in by hand. All the way in by hand and then tighten the nuts on the stud you're gonna put your washer on first it's a lock washer 
and your nut. Be careful not to drop them. I'm assuming this side's gonna be tricky because there's a pain getting it out. Um, leave your connector unplugged for right now. Gives you a little more space. Let's see if we can focus on that. She's just gonna get your washer on and then your nut on on that stud right there. That stud right there. So we got our nuts down there. Uh, let's see. There you go. Um, there is a plunger if I haven't mentioned already in the booster. You want to make sure that it goes. That you fit that inside of the shaft on your master cylinder. Um, and if you're not using, if you're not. If you're using a regular wrench or a short rasping wrench um, to get this right side uh, and you can't reach down there with a long wrench or anything, um, you're going to want to just slide this bracket out some to give yourself some space for the ECU, ECU and TCU. Um, and it's a nut down there. If you can see it, I'll oh, back up to show you where it's at. Between the bracket and the strut tower, and then this bolt right here. That's gonna give you, let you slide this out, get some access in there. And once you got those two bolts tight, just gonna tighten your brake lines up nice and snug. They're flared, so that it doesn't need any sealer or anything. Uh, do not use it, please. And you're gonna take your connector right here and hook it up to your level sensor right there, brake fluid switch. Um, and I would use a pair of long needle nose if I were you um, to carefully slip this on there and keep that retainer on there to hold the connector on. And after that, you just need to either pressure bleed with a pressure vacuum or a pressure brake bleeder from the reservoir, vacuum bleed, I must zoom in. Vacuum bleed from the right rear, left rear, right front, left front, or um, the same sequence with someone pumping the brake up and holding the brake in the car. Um,